because he's part of this church now, not by my will, not by Brother Chancey's will, but by the Holy Ghost's will. God connected him to this church. Amen. And yet he's connected there because that's his home church. Praise our God. So I was talking to Brother Chancey, and he said, Brother Morrow, I'm going to come over there and be with you some Saturday night. I said, bring the Somerset Church of God, bring them over here, to praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I'll drop over there and see you. Yeah. Then the other day, a, a Jewish rabbi called me on the phone. A Jewish rabbi. A Jewish rabbi. And he said, I'd like to meet you up in some city in Yes, you know you saw it. We're both going to be involved in a marriage ceremony, it looks like. And a Jew and a Gentile getting married. And, and a rabbi going to be on one side and a preacher on the other side. So I thought, oh God, we're bringing the Jew and Gentile together. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I talked to that rabbi, a very pleasant man, very older man, and he, he said, well, you know, I said, now look, I want you to look at me, rabbi. I'm your brother. He said, you're a Gentile, aren't you? I said, <laughs> I said, not really. I used to be. He said, what you do, trace your lineage back and find out you were a Jew? I said, I read the Bible and believed that the Messiah came for me. You're looking for him, and I've already found him. You're still looking for him, and I've found him. I said, well, <laughs> you know, I like you. He said, <laughs> what kind of church is that? Said, well, you just come and find out. I said. He said, would you, would you visit my synagogue? I said, well, I sure will visit your synagogue. Absolutely. See, what Jesus did 2,000 years ago was not in vain. You know what you need to do tonight, friend? I'm going to say it just like it is. He said, you ought to appreciate me. Praise our God. I like that. You can come back to the Lord. You can go out. Come in the name of the Lord. Brother Garcia said, you ought to love your pastor. Appreciate your pastor. Amen. I'm going to tell you what you need to do, every one of you. And that's Brother Garcia's people and our people and everyone. We need to get our minds on our main business on this earth. And that is walking in the light. And he is in the light. So we can have fellowship one with another. Except the Orthodox, the old-fashioned Chinese. So they, the, the mothers used to tie their girls' feet from the time they were little girls. So they would have tiny feet. And that's why the Chinese people, the Chinese ladies, have such small feet. It's because they restrict the growth. They bind them. They want them to be small. 
Let me tell you something. You tie your arm to your side. Be rigid. Walk around with it. Can't move it. No, lo puede mover. no circulation. No hay circulación. Any member of your body that you restrict is going to deteriorate and wither away. Yeah. You won't use this right here. Just let it not be you. And you'll not have it. Yeah. Use it yeah. or lose it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Quit walking upstairs when you can. You'll have knee problems that you can't get away from. Amen. You use it or you lose it. Amen. Well, if you come to church or you're part of the church and you let something restrict you as a member of that church to where you can't get in, turn it loose, be happy, be a part. Glory. I'm getting a bus ministry ready. Uh, uh, witnessing on Saturday morning. Uh, anybody wants to join up? Start joining up. We're going out in the neighborhood. We're going to pass out the Bible. We're going to pass out the Word of God. We're going in the neighborhood. We're going to reach people. I saw when I took this church five nights from behind these walls, it transformed this church. Amen. If we can get this church out from behind these walls and get them to shine their light, there will be people in here that we don't know where they came from, how they got here, but God will let this place grow. Amen, brother. Praise the Lord. I'm 76. Give me your hand. Got a pretty good grip, haven't you? Yes, sir. Amen. I keep this hand active. I was out today cutting up over a a tiger bush. It was clawing me like a cat. And I was working those things. Because if I work those things, that means arthritis is being defeated. Use it or lose it. You get your Holy Ghost alive in you. Start believing. Start believing. Start believing. Praise our God. And you will be alive. Used to sing a song, but sing it now. I used to preach a little bit. Preach now. I used to be active. I used to run the aisle. Well, what's wrong with you now? I don't see any red lights up here saying you can't do it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I used to dance a little bit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank God bless you. Yeah. Turn to your neighbor. Now I want you to look right over here at these folks and I want them to get out that door without we just kind of merge that way and tell them how much we love them. Tell Brother Garcia how much we appreciate him and pray for his service in the morning. And brother, tell Brother Chancey we'll be praying for him and I'll be out there anytime. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I love Jesus and I know that he's coming again. I know he's coming again. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You want to be in the bus ministry. See Brother David Tracy and see Brother Lonnie.